Hello, everyone. Happy Easter. We'll get started with noonday prayer in just about nine minutes. We'll start right at noon. Noonday prayer is on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. As we wait uh, and prepare ourselves for noonday prayer, I invite you to uh, say hi or and also uh, leave any prayer requests or prayers of thanksgivings uh, in the comments section. Uh, and as those come up, I'll, uh, I'll try to incorporate them in our prayers as I see them. Let's see, it looks like people are starting to sign on, so welcome. Uh, this is Noonday Prayer at St. Mark's. I'm Father Michael. Uh, we will be starting right at noon, and Noonday Prayer starts, at, uh, on, starts on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer, where you can also find it online uh, at bcponline.org, uh, I think and follow along there. Or you can also simply just uh, prayerfully listen and watch the video. We'll be using the uh, prayer of the day, also called a collect, uh, for Monday and Easter week, because it's Monday and Easter week. Uh, and we'll also be using the gospel reading uh, for the Eucharistic lectionary for Monday and Easter week. No, if I didn't have a fire today, Vicky. But it's a little bit colder, so. Hey, Mark. Happy Easter to everyone. If you're able uh, to, if you're able to, uh, hold on, my series acting up again. Okay. If you're able to light a candle or ring a bell or to say a prayer, uh, I invite you to do that to help create this space, a prayer space. And also, I invite you to write any prayers that you have or any thanksgivings that you have uh, in the comment sections below. And I'll try to include them when we get to the intercessions portion of Noonday Prayer. Hey, Tricia, welcome. We'll get started uh, on page 103 in about five minutes. 103 of the Book of Common Prayer, Noonday Prayer. Uh, if you can see in the uh, uh, post of this live video, you'll see the prayer of the day, the collect uh, for Monday and Easter week, and you'll also see the scripture reading that we'll be looking at if you wanted to follow along. Yeah, wonderful. So we'll pray for Good Shepherd community and staff, and we'll give thanksgiving for Chaplain Aubrey Nixon, and thanksgiving for our food pantry volunteers. A fun liturgical fact, every day in the first week of Easter is a uh, 
major feast. And so it's a week of uh, Easter celebrations. And so I think it's important to give Thanksgiving uh, on these uh, holy days. Welcome to everyone who's joining. We'll get started in just a little bit here, right at noon. For those early birds that sign on, you get to hear me say a lot of the same thing over and over again. Noonday prayer starts on page 103. We'll start at noon. <laughs> I hope everyone had a holy Easter Sunday yesterday and found some way to uh, honor it and mark the occasion. Uh, my family had, we had a virtual Easter lunch and so we all had our laptops and devices up around the table and we shared lunch together and it was really nice. I'm Michael Mitchell. And Eleanor Randolph and Margaret Amps, welcome. Deborah, hi, how are you? Happy Easter to everyone. We'll get started in about two minutes. Uh, noonday Prayer begins on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. And you can also find the text online at BCP Online. Or you can simply just follow along and watch the video prayerfully. Whatever way uh, God is calling you to participate uh, is a perfectly fine way to join in these Noonday Prayers. We'll get started in just a moment here. Alrighty, it's noon. So our service begins on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. And we'll start with a moment of silence. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. 
Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading today is from the Eucharistic Lectionary for uh, the Mon Monday and Easter week. It's the Gospel reading, Matthew 28, 9 through 15. This is the NRSV version. Jesus met Mary Magdalene and the other Mary and said greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priest everything that had happened. After the priest had assembled with the elders, they devised a plan to give a large sum of money to the soldiers telling them, you must say, his disciples came by night and stole him away while they were asleep. If this comes to the governor's ear, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed. And this is the story still told among the Jews to this day. Here ends the reading. What I want to focus on in this reading is uh, the put ourselves in the place of the two Marys, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, which is an interesting phrase that Matthew uses, because uh, uh, these are the apostles to the apostles. Uh, and with them, they are afraid, uh, but they got, fall at Jesus' feet and they worship Jesus' feet. And I think in these times, uh, in this time of quarantine and uh, COVID-19, it's really easy to be afraid. And now we get to be quarantined and then COVID-19 in the great 50 days of Easter. And it's such a, a juxtaposition to be celebrating the resurrection uh, and to be in this crisis time. And I think, you know, the Marys give us a good example of that tension, being afraid being uncertain, not knowing what's going on, yet still encountering the risen Christ, still seeing him and worshiping him. And I think Jesus' instructions to the Mary was go and tell. One of the things that I think would be a good spiritual practice during this crisis time is to share and tell the stories of the resurrections we encounter. There is a lot of fear, there's a lot of anxiety, uh, but we can also encounter resurrections where we are, whether we're at home, whether you're in the hospital, or try, you still have to go to work, uh, wherever you are, you, there, there is the risen Christ to be encountered. And it can be, as Danny talked about in his sermon uh, yesterday, little resurrections. It could be, you know, encountering uh, the beauty of nature if you're going out on a walk, staying, of course, six feet away from everyone. Uh, it could be spending more time with your pets, uh, a conversation with a loved one or reconnecting with an old friend. Uh, these are all little resurrections that are happening in the midst of this chaotic time. And experiencing the resurrections of itself, but telling others about the resurrections, that's how hope spreads. Uh, we can encourage each other. Uh, so if you encounter a resurrection uh, today or in the days to come, I encourage you to share that with someone. Text them, uh, share it on Facebook, or even give them a call. Uh, tell them the resurrection you encountered. And that's how uh, the good news gets spread, and that's how hope uh, stays 
uh, alive and grows. And that is, I think, a great way how we can celebrate these 50 days by sharing the resurrections we encounter during this time. We'll continue with the prayers on page 106. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who celebrate with awe the Paschal Feast may be found worthy to attain to everlasting joys. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We will move to the intercessions. Let's see the comments that I can see. Uh, we pray for Good Shepherd, community and staff. We give thanks for Chaplain Aubrey Nixon. We give thanks for the food pantry volunteers. Thanks for the Easter service. In the St. Mark's cycle of prayer, we pray for the Episcopal Church, for Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, the Presiding Bishop, Larry, our Bishop, St. Mark's clergy, Danny, Michael, Patricia, Susan, Joanna, and Billy, St. Mark's staff and vestry. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Mishamikowish in Canada. I'm sorry, I butchered that pronunciation, but uh, we pray for them in Canada. Uh, we pray for the Diocese of Western Louisiana. We pray for the Diocese of If in Nigeria and If East in Nigeria. We pray in the Diocesan Cycle of Prayer. We pray for St. Francis House and its ministries, for Kent Mitchell, for St. John's Helena, St. Mark's Hope, and for those who work with people living with AIDS. In we pray, continuing in the St. Mark's prayers, we pray for peace, and we pray for an end to terrorism, oppression, poverty, pollution, and persecution. We pray for all our St. Mark's staff, especially this week, Ashley Haggard, our youth director. And we pray for all our parish ministries, especially this week, St. Mark's Evangelism Committee. We pray for the safety of those in the military, including Sam, Breen, and Marshall. And for all those commended to our prayers, Don, Tim, Cole, Austin, John, Art, Madison, Pat, Paul, Rachel, Mary, Dean, Irene, Larry, Pam, Betsy, Carl, Cynthia, Greg, Judy, Janie and her family, Paige, Laurie, Samantha, Dale, Ashley, Jerry, and Matthew. And we pray for all those families who are expecting children especially Mar Marley and Taylor Gamble. And we pray for all those who are celebrating birthdays and wedding anniversaries today. And we pray for all those who have died and the repose of the soul of Steve Plunkett and Lee Williams. I invite your own intercessions and prayers. Let's see, we've had a few more come in. For those affected by the recent storms.
I think I saw all the comments, but in case I missed it, I lift that up right now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy Easter, guys.